Let's count the unique challenges the U.S. Capitol Police faces. It's under investigation by four congressional committees and an inspector general. Several officers were hospitalized for serious injuries suffered during the riot. The force lost two officers, one who died during the attack and another from a later suicide, according to the Officers Association. That same association called for a vote of no confidence in senior leadership and acting police chief Yogananda Pittman. She's acting chief because police chief Stephen Sund resigned after the Capitol attack. 10 to 15 individual Capitol Police officers are under internal investigation for alleged misconduct, according to Congress. What would you like to see in reforms of the U.S. Capitol Police? I have asked retired Lieutenant General Russell Honore uh, to lead an immediate review of security infrastructure. The Capitol Police doesn't just guard the U.S. Capitol and the surrounding office buildings. Their patrols even take them as far out as the area surrounding Union Station. Looking at Capitol Police's arrest logs on any given week through 2020 shows when they would arrest someone, it was usually for trying to trespass into one of the office buildings or traffic violation in the surrounding areas. Some weeks, Capitol Police arrested no one at all. But at times, the U.S. Capitol Police faced danger and change. In 1954, it took on four Puerto Rican nationalists gunning down Congress members inside the chamber. In 1998, two Capitol Police officers were killed when a lone gunman stormed in. But despite a mob descending on the Capitol, Congressman Tim Ryan of Ohio, whose committee oversees Capitol Police, was surprised to discover that 1,200 officers on duty January 6th faced a restriction he viewed as surprising considering what happened. They were under assignment to not use lethal force. It took protester Ashley Babbitt nearly breaking into the House chamber for a Capitol Police officer to use their weapon. Ryan had words of warning for Capitol Police leadership. Talking to the rank and file members, there was a great deal of confusion minute to minute on January 6th as to what to do, where to go, what the posture was, where the backup was. We showed Maryland's former police training lead, Everett Sesker, video of the attack. It's like when you get into that mode, you know, you're, you're defending something, you are tunnel vision. My commander said, hey, I need to be here. I need to, you know, maintain this line. That's what I'm going to do. But there's got to be somebody continuously feeding you information, feeding you intel. Capitol Police recruits receive 26 weeks of training, half of it at their academy in Maryland. While its acting chief did not respond to a request for comment, she said in a video statement, We've also reinstituted critical emergency training and will be providing officers with additional training based on the lessons we have learned. U.S. Capitol Police just barely succeeded in its primary mission January 6th, defending Congress members' lives. It came at a heavy cost in prestige, in careers, and in lives. We don't know all the changes in store for the force because the investigation into how the attack happened is still ongoing. What is certain is that more than 2,000 men and women, DMV neighbors all, face workplace challenges unthinkable less than two months ago. At the Capitol, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.